That one, yep. That's the one. This one. The yeah, and hit home. And give it. I don't know. I cl clear out the um the search box just with that X. Okay, so let me show you a couple of things that are a little different here that you've not seen before. Okay. Um, there's a display tab. Open recent tools, more display. And you can, in the sidebar, and you can turn off the titles, the subtitles, and the tags. So you can hide them all. Okay. Keep hiding. Hide the third one, too. Uh, third one? Oh, this one up here. Okay. Yeah. And so that makes the tiddlers kind of empty looking, but it's interesting because maybe titles are for writers, not for readers. We're going to think about that. So show them all again for debugging purposes. Okay. Okay. And now click on read the essays. Okay. And um, so I've got the first nine. I'll have the others up there soon. Let's start in seven just for the hell of it. Okay. And, um, oh, yes, click on the, I forget what it's called, the view mode or something. It's next to the last of the save button. Yeah. And story visualization, change it to zoom in. Okay. And now you can even, you can hide the titles. Okay. And so what this is meant to do is create an opportunity for you to create annotations. And it's a little subtle. I'm always a little subtle. I don't hit people over the head with my designs, but this is why we need, I need an editor and a designer. But let's move through essay seven, paragraph by paragraph. So let's look at essay 0701. Okay. That's, a, that's a, here's the first paragraph of essay seven, and then you can go to 0702 by clicking next. You know, not next, right. And so you can navigate this paragraph by paragraph. Okay. And so now you've come to this one, and let's annotate this. Okay. So you click on the annotate button, which essentially all it does is edits this. Okay. okay. And so let's, um, I don't know who Derrida is, but you see the word Derrida there. So highlight that word and Above it, there's a button that says create keyword tiddler with the highlighted word. Okay. And what that does is puts, it's a yellow's Derrida over in the preview button. Yeah. And gives you two choices. You can see your comment or you can edit the tiddler. And so the first thing you want to do is edit the tiddler you're going to create, which is the greater than sign after the word Derrida, which is maybe too subtle. And so, oh, we forgot to change the name from Steve Suni Polly to you, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so now you can write a comment. So write some comments about Derrida. This would be your comment. I wish I had met him too and save it. Save the tiddler. And it gives you a chance now to tag it. And you can tag it by one of the four words. So let's just tag this about wiki. And one of the techniques, or two of the techniques, linking and tagging. Interesting. Yeah, it's neat. So I now see what I have to do. I have to bring a close button back. So show the tiddler titles again. Because you need the titles to close the tiddler. Oh, you can rate it too. I, I got to get the ratings off, yeah. You can rate your own stuff, but close this tiddler on the X. And see, now it doesn't return you to the previous paragraph, which is like, yeah. click on recent. It's the most recent tiddler. And there's no link back. That's So now by seeing you do it, now I know I have to build a link back to 0703. Um, there's the draft of 0703 that's still open. Yeah, so now you can close 0703, and I don't really like this. You don't discard the changes. You have to save the changes. And now when you hit the plus sign, it should, oh, and it does. 
Okay, that's neat. So the question is, I mean, this is, again, this is tiddly wiki, so it's not exactly what you would consider production quality, but you could modify this and you could write this and you could create this yourself. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask people to read through the essays this way and, um, and then I'll be able to generate a set of reports based on your tags and the things that you tag. So then we'll have a list of all of your annotations, et cetera. Okay. So what I've been marking up in my actual textbook, I should then um, bring those comments over into the respective uh, essays and chapter or paragraphs in, in here, right? Yeah. So click that annotate button again and you can do more than one word you can do a whole phrase if you'd like but what you can't do is you can't you can't have a mac a keyword inside of a keyword oh okay so if i had selected this entire line i wouldn't be able to do that because well, i think you can see what happens i think you can let's see what happens i think it'll totally screw it up <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where is the uh Yeah, so hit on control Z. Yeah, that is nasty. I don't know how to fix that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. But I could do this. And I don't like the fact that you have to do you have to go through a lot of steps to put your comments in there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's too many steps. You know, once you get the hang of it, uh, yep. what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get back to the, there we go. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. Oh, oh, I can't undo it. No. Ooh, it so doesn't how matter. Would I, how would I clear that out then? What do you mean? Well, uh, if I didn't want, let's say I decided I didn't want my um, keyword Let's say I didn't want to select this sentence now. How do I, how would I get rid of it? Just cancel out of it? Um, in, in, if, you've, if you do it before you save it, you could undo it. Yeah, I mean, so yeah if you, if you it save it without changes or you can manually edit out the. Edit yeah. out the fold. Yeah, so I'd have to take out that and then that. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that would work. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah, so I guess the changes is problem. Hmm. But that's okay. What's it doing here with the um, the hyphenation of some of these words? Um, it was a uh, optical carriage OCR. Oh, this was scanned in using okay. Yeah. It was it was a PDF, and then the PDF was read in an OCR. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. So, yeah, and I didn't feel like fixing it. Oh, no, no, I, just, I just happened to see the Accord one. I was thinking, what's going on with that? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm pretty much ready to release this, even though it's going to create all sorts of problems, but at least it will give you a thing. And if you wanted to see how it works, click on the slicing text tag. Yeah, um, yeah it's under the title, just where you put yours. Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah, click on that and... Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. The checkbox tag macro you might like. Click, look at that. Checkbox tag. Oh, there it is. Because what that does is generates. So those are all the things that are tagged to techniques. Oh yeah, yeah. And so you can tag. You can click those tags. So you can tag the current tiddler with them without editing the tiddler. Yeah. Or maybe not. Yeah, there it is. They're coming. Yeah. Hey. Oh, <laughs> nice, you broke it. The red screen of death. Yeah, I just clicked filtering, that's all I did. Huh. Yeah, now it looks like it's caught up, it's working now. Oh no, it's, yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's neat. So it's just a little pull down tag box and if you look at the code for that, Yeah, okay. Yeah, it might be useful for me for what I'm trying to do for project. Mm -hmm. And so you it brings in the um 
current tiddler and the parent tag. So my, in this case, my parent tag is techniques. Techniques, yeah. And I send the name of the tiddler, which is usually current tiddler. There's the macro call down on the bottom. Name equals checkbox tiddler, tiddler equals current tiddler, parent tag equals techniques. And if you change the word techniques there to, I think four words, capital F, capital W, with the space between it. Yeah, you get, and if you run it twice, you get two sets of tags. So this is a way to do some hierarchical tagging. No, 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 no. You have to, um, that would be interesting. I could do that, but no. <laughs> oh, okay. What did you mean by run it twice? The same word twice? Keep going, backspace. Copy the whole macro call. Ah, okay. And then paste it right next yeah. to the next slide. Yeah, doesn't matter. And then change this one to something else. Four words I think I've got run into. And since that's so nasty, you might want to put a break after the first macro call. Yeah. Uh, let's see right there. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that's like if you that's a that's called a um, a taxonomy where you're yeah. not allowing people to add new tags. You can't, they can't add new techniques and they can't add new words. They can just pick from what's available. That's a taxonomy. you you know, your business is used to that. That's what you guys give people fixed choices. So yeah. it, anyway, but you could, you can bring that over and, and that would be helpful that you could throw that into your thing. And once you develop your tags, you know, not bad, right? No, I like that. Yeah, and absolutely. then there's a tag manager button. There's a tag button up in the toolbar. Um, way up above, there's a tag button. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. It's tags. It looks like a tag. You got it. You were you were just hadn't gone far enough yet. Other way. Oh, that first, click on that. That's the Tiddler Manager. That's new. Open the Tiddler Manager. You'll like the Tiddler Manager. That's new. Um, so you can click now on Hyper, and it will let you manage the Tiddler Hyper. Oh. If you want to change the tags or the colors or something. And if you go further over to the tag manager, the next button after the tiddler manager, um, that's useful for just changing the colors of tiddlers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've played with this before. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so what you see what I, I've got my blur, words in blue and my words in red, and that begins to... My logic is that that begins to add meaning for people. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, there's interesting stuff going on in this one. Yeah. So, um, when you much of which is very useful for your project, I think the 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 ability the navigation between two tiddlers and the connections between them, and that's really what you're working on now. Yeah. Very cool. So when you release the uh, annotator for the rest of us to use, uh, should we be working in conjunction with the, the second project and the annotations or does, uh, let's see. Well, I'm just going to ask you to read because at the end of the semester, that becomes the, something that you can reflect on a piece that you can write and you can write it in this annotator. If you'd like, you can add your own annotations. I just want to give everybody an ability to annotate. That's and then once you save it, I'm going to give you some strict instructions. But if you go back to your uh, recent list, I'm going to give you instructions on how to save it. But then I think your, yours are called SUNY Poly. So if you click on the SUNY Poly on, you know, once you change your username to yours, these tag, go ahead and open that. I'm going to bring out all of those, those tiddlers and share them with everybody. I see. Okay. So then we'll have a bunch of them and we'll see what people tag each paragraph and stuff. So then where would I make that change? So instead of it saying Steve Suny Polly, it would be whatever. Oh, uh, there'll be some instructions, but I think if you click the home button, did I take it off the home button? I did. Um, click um, and search for Anna, maybe on slicing text, there's a link to annotating Vandendorp. No. 
Search for annotating. Yeah, it's annotating Vandendorp, and there should be a box that says scroll down. Oh, here we go. Set your username. Oh, I've lost it. I'll have to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's. Huh. I'll have to get it back. Actually, I think it's right here. Uh, yeah, it's weird. It doesn't have the box. Click correct if necessary. Yeah, that's not working. There's supposed to be an open box, and I know, I know how to fix it. Okay. That's why I need other people to alpha test it. <laughs> Great. All right. James, is there anything going on? Um, no, just got handed my 507 proposal. That's a little, that's a daily. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. And send me, send me those links when you've got them. Great. Thanks, John. That was a good, good session. We got a lot of stuff worked on. Now I think you got a much better feel for your bib tech thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, for your time. And, um, yeah, James, if you could um, share the, that first video when you can, that would be great. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Okay, catch you later. Have a good evening. Yep, bye now.